How to tell us why they are rarely granted. Well, Tom, we talked to an expert who says requests for mistrials in murder cases are common, but what it actually takes to get one is much harder. A mistrial is, is declared where something happens during the trial that really corrupts the process and makes, um, makes it impossible for the jury to render a, a fair and just verdict in a case. October 9th. The definition of a mistrial is pretty cut and dry, but there's a slim chance of actually getting one. Normally, mistrials are uh, not granted. So lawyers have to really try to advocate if they believe that the process has been tainted to convince the judge to grant a mistrial. There's no doubt the trial of Seth Mazzilia is complicated. It's a varied version of he said, she said. So on Friday when the defense asked for a mistrial, it wasn't a surprise. It's fairly common for defense attorneys to ask for a mistrial once or twice or three times, you know, during a case. Uh, so that's not, that doesn't surprise me. But what was shocking was when the prosecution asked for a mistrial. What is very rare in this case is the fact that the state asked for a mistrial uh, very early on in the opening statement. The judge denied the motion as well as Friday's request for a mistrial by the defense. But you can bet there will be more motions for a mistrial as long as this trial continues. Given the tenor of the advocacy that we've seen in the case so far, I think it's uh, pretty spirited. And both sides are uh, aggressively advocating their sides. And uh, I would expect that there'll be more requests for mistrials along the way. Now, whenever a motion for a mistrial is made, usually the jury is not in the courtroom, so they won't be influenced by the argument. The Seth Mazzilla trial continues next week. Live in the studio tonight, Nick Spinetta, WMUR News 9. Nick, thanks.